Hello, it's been a while I made a video and uh, we're gonna talk about if do if you're either unattractive or if you have bad confidence because the two things kinda go hand in hand in that way so let's jump uh, into it by starting about uh, um, this is so unstructured video but uh, let's start, start with uh, having bad confidence now bad confidence is a state of mind where you feel that you're unattractive or uh, you're unappealing or that you're worthless or have terrible self-esteem uh, that's like uh, that's nothing it can has it can uh, be related to things that have happened like a friend uh, that uh, cared about you very much said some things and uh, maybe a family member was mad at you or like you got harassed on the internet or whatever there are many many things that can happen especially in school and in social places where you are in a situation where people make fun of you or point out things about you now that is not necessarily being unattractive or anything like that because you can still be a normal person and go through all these things uh, my ex was a good example on this because she was very bullied in school even though she was a very attractive and normal girl she was going f through this for many years and her, her parents didn't care about her so it more or, more or less developed into a state of mind where it didn't really matter because uh, uh, in for her she was always unattractive but uh, that's a state of mind and uh, knowing the difference between that and being unattractive for real is uh, sometimes a bit tricky especially if you're in younger years or figuring it out but uh, there are a few ways you can distinguish the difference between being unattractive and having bad confidence now if you are unattractive then that is less of something you think of yourself many people that really are unattractive like uh, uh, that have bad genes or bad fa facial uh, features or whatever they don't really go around and uh, think that much or talk that much about being ugly now this is kind of bad hindsight for me on uh, the contrary that I've made many videos about these topics where I'm uh, quite vulnerable and explaining my past experiences and uh, such but uh, that's kind of part of it because being unattractive is more of a uh, life experience than it is of just having a bad confidence or a few uh, few people making fun of you now a way you can uh, the best the absolutely best way if you to figure out if you're unattractive is uh, simply just asking p random people you don't really know now that's the most uh, I would say it's the most efficient way just uh, ma make a make a public forum or whatever just ask around uh, often people are less like uh, nice online some people go straight to the point and point out uh, uh, flaws or whatever and uh, some people maybe don't see them it's different but that's one way uh, the second way is of course of course if uh, uh, where it actually matters the most and that is uh, in a social uh, environment and uh, if you want to find a partner that's where uh, being unattractive uh, is mostly displayed and uh, the best way to find that out depends a bit but um, if you try to find a date online it's very easy to quickly determine uh, how well you look if if like uh, most if not everyone of the girls you're trying to talk to or start a conversation with or whatever always ignore you or just write one line and then disappear or they straight up uh, say something like you're not my type or like uh, something that uh, shows that they're absolutely uninterested and it's on a site where uh, the intention is to meet people or find a date or whatever that's a very quick and easy way also to 
uh, like uh, assess where you are on that scale and uh, like uh, it's also a good way to find out what you need to improve because uh, oftentimes it's simple things like losing weight or fixing a bad nose or a bad jaw or something like it's uh, it's not that uh, black and white like you have uh, 10 bad things about yourself because often if you have a few bad features about yourself then uh, that also brings in the bad self-confidence and that makes you think that well people say that this and this is shit so I'm entirely shit now that's not really the case for most uh, people there are ways you can improve yourself and fix things and uh, that's like uh, one of the things. The third thing is when you're out in public finding a job or working or whatever. Many unattractive people often uh, don't find work, they uh, get tr treated differently, uh, people all, always stare, especially children, you will notice that because uh, children always like keep glaring at you if you're unattractive. Like uh, you can see most uh, kids uh, when I when I observe these things in public, like most kids don't mind when they're around other people, but if you get like uh, in a if they see you, they start to glare like crazy, like like this, and they they like follow you like this with their eyes, because the uh, children are pretty uh, innocent. They don't have this uh, mind of what's right or wrong, so they kind of point it out. And uh, that's something I experienced uh, like the first time when I went with my mother to her work when I was younger. Uh, she works uh, in a daycare with little children and uh, I was, uh, it was like an assessment that I was gonna help her that day. And uh, uh, like instantly the moment uh, you start to interact with children they start to comment things like why is your nose so big? Uh, why, you look kind of funny and stuff like that. That's a good that's like be aware of how children treat you when you're in public how they look at you or stuff like that and uh, that's like one thing uh, another thing is uh, like sometimes people just make a gesture or they kind of laugh like or smile a lot and talk to each other like uh, like you know what I mean uh, when you're around or like you can notice that like if everything is quite calm before you get there like you're walking in and that's a situation that starts like these are kind of like nitpicking and stuff but uh, these are uh, these are signs and uh, of uh, being unattractive and the lifestyle that uh, comes with it because many people don't really understand that being unattractive is a form of lifestyle that you kind of have to experience to understand the same way like uh, trying to understand someone who's uh, disabled like you just see him in the wheelchair and you're like yeah I can imagine how it is just sitting there and having these issues but just uh, just thinking about it and then actually living it and having those issues you see more of the details and the st actual struggle that uh, comes with it. So people that are like uh, saying certain things like it's no, no big deal, it doesn't matter or things like that, it, that's pretty much normal people who don't have these issues. So they don't uh, experience the lifestyle. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much how it is with that. But uh, having bad self-confidence and being unattractive, those are uh, kind of two different things and both are kind of treatable like if you're unattractive there are things you can do like uh, working out more getting surgery and uh, uh, yeah that's kind of that it, okay it's not that much you can do about it but that's a few things you can do about it and uh, if you have bad self-confidence you can start to work on your uh, mentality and your thoughts and try to figure out who you are and what your position is, why you feel the way you do, and just work a bit on yourself. And uh, you can kind of figure that out. But um, anyway, I think that's most, that's like the things I wanted to touch on the topic of bad confidence versus actual being unattractive. Uh, needless to say, 
when it comes to friends or good people they often don't care about how you look so you can still do many things no matter how you look you can find friends even though it's like it's still a form of worse treatment if you're unattractive like you won't get invited to many parties or whatever unless you have very unique friends that have that are like really good but you can still have fun and stuff like uh, I've had some really good friends during my life and uh, I'm not saying that I'm the most uh, unattractive guy ever, but like, you know what I mean, you, you can still live a life and do things. And uh, you can, you, even if you are unattractive or whatever, you can still find a partner, you can find everything. But uh, it's just uh, millions times uh, harder and requires much more work and time. So it's like, um, yeah, it's tough, I would say. Be, if you're born with bad genes or unattractive, you're kinda born with a... It's like a disability where you have to work a bit harder than everyone else to achieve a sort of happiness. And it kinda takes a toll on people sometimes. And some people can't do it. Like uh, me, for instance, I've had periods where I've been struggling a lot and it have been going good. And I've met people and done stuff. and. Uh, all that but then there are times where it gets too much and you kind of say whatever I don't care right now and it takes over and uh, if you're having health issues or something like that happens then it's like uh, it's a total nightmare but uh, I guess not being healthy or whatever is kind of hard for anyone so can't really take that into a thing anyway um I think that's all I wanted to say about this. Still happy that people watch my videos and uh, the people that uh, uh, say they relate and watch my channel. I'm happy that you're here. And the people that are uh, being absolutely honest, saying like, yeah, you are really unattractive or whatever. Uh, like, honest feedback, also very appreciated. Like, thanks, I guess. But uh, hope you're ga you guys have it uh, good. Um, enjoy your day or night or whatever and I'll see you next time. Bye.